Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 55. Today is our lesson number 55, not 54. Today we're going to continue. The same topic that we began yesterday, which is to know, to learn how to multiply and divide decimals. How to multiply and divide decimals. What, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put the I'm going to put the problem on the blackboard. After I put the problem, after I put the problem on the blackboard, what I want you to do is pause the video, do the problem yourself. Once you have done it yourself, then I want you to resume the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together. And of course, I do not need to say the bloody obvious thing, which is that these problems must be done by hand, not with a calculator. There will be no, no, no bloody point in doing this thing. The point here is to learn how to manipulate number to, 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 to acquire an intimacy with the numbers, to become intimate with the numbers, to get some gut feeling, to get an intuitive understanding of the numbers. Do you understand? Let's do the very first one. Enough of the, enough of the sermon. This is a problem from yesterday. Do this anymore? Here's the first problem. I want you to pause the video and do it yourself. 0.36 divided by 1.2. 0.36 divided by 1.2. I'll give you five seconds to unpause and pause the video. Well, what do we do? 0.36, what we have to understand here is that 0.36 is nothing but is nothing but 36 divided by 100. In other words, in other words, if you were to take 0 0.36, if you were to take 0 0.36 and multiply the top and the bottom by 100, 100 times 0 0.36 will become 36, and then the bottom will end up with 100. Similarly, 1.2, 1.2 can be written as 12 over 10. Obviously, that's what we're going to do here. We're going to write our 0.36 as 36 divided by 100, and then that fraction is to be divided by 12 over 10. What do we learn when we have to divide one fraction by another fraction? We learned a couple of days ago that when we have to divide one fraction by other fractions, what we have to do is, is to take the first fraction, 36 over 100, take our first fraction, and then multiply it, the division sign becomes a multiplication, multiply it by the reciprocal, of the second fraction. The reciprocal of the second fraction here, 12 over 10 will become 10 over 12 and we are almost done. Let's divide top and bottom by 10. Let's divide top and bottom by 10 because we see a 10 here, we see a 100 here, they are both multiple of 10. We divide top and bottom by 10, the 10 drops out and the 100 is going to become 10. Let's divide top and bottom by 12. 12 is going to drop out and 36 becomes 3. That's it, we are done. The final answer is 3 over 10, depending on how the answer choices are laid out in the exam. They might give you the answer choice in the form of fraction. They might give you in form of the decimal, in which case it is 0.3. Final answer is 0.3. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's erase this problem from yesterday. It's not serving any purpose. Let's do one more. Again, you're going to do it yourself. 0 0.72, 0 0.72 divided by 0.015. 0 0.015. I'll give you five seconds to pause and unpause the video. I want you to do it yourself. 0 0.72, 0 0.72 can be multiplied top and bottom by 100. When we multiply top and bottom of 0.7 by 100, when we multiply 0.7 the top by 100, bottom by 100, we're not changing anything. We're just multiplying 0.72 by 1. It's still 0.72, but now we have 100 times 0.72 on the top, which becomes 72 over 100, which was not a big deal at all. I don't know why I made up such a big fuss. Of course, we know that 0.72 is 72 over 100. Similarly, 0 0.015, it has three digits, so we have to multiply top and bottom by 1,000. We can, we can write it like this, or if you wish, you can write it like this. The thousand, of course, is the bottom. It belongs to both of them. Now, thousand times 0 0.05, 0 0.015, 
since we are multiplying it by a thousand, we're going to move it three decimal places, one, two, and three, and decimal place ends up here. It becomes 15. We end up with 15 over a thousand. So we know that this part is 15 over a thousand. We know this part is 72 over 100. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Let's do it here. So the first part, 72.72, is just 72 over 100 divided by 0 0.015, which we just found out is simply 15 over 1000. 15 over 1000. We take our first fraction, 72 over 100. And what do we do? We multiply it. The division sign becomes multiplication sign. We multiply it by the reciprocal of the second fraction. 15 over 1000 is going to become 1000 over 15. That's it. We're almost done. I see 100 at the bottom. We see 1000 on the top. They are both multiple of 100. Let's multiply top and bottom by 100. If we multiply, rather divide. Let's divide top and bottom by 100. If we do that, the 100 from the bottom drops out. We get rid of two zeros from the top. It becomes 10. Of course, it becomes 10 because a thousand has 10 one hundredths. Let's divide top and bottom by. What can we do here? Let's divide top and bottom by three. How do how do we know 72 is divisible by three? How do we know 72 is divisible by three? Well, we know that. The sum of the digits of 72, sum of the digits is 9. And since the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, the number itself must be divisible by 3, which is why 15 is divisible by 3, because 1 plus 5 is 6, and 6 is divisible by 3. Let's divide 72 by 3. Let's divide 72 by 3. 72, we're going to divide it by 3. How many 3's in a 7? 7 has, 7 has 2 3's. The remaining one goes and joins the 2. The remaining one goes and joins the two becomes 12. And 12 has four threes. Let's do it here. So divide top and bottom by three. Seven has two threes. The remaining one goes and joins the two becomes 12. And 12 has four threes. And 15 divided by three is just five. So we, are, we end up with, oh, and we have a five here now. We have a five here, we have a 10 here. Since we have a 10 and a five, let's divide top and bottom by five. So we can get rid of this 5, and 10 is going to become 2. So we end up with 2 times 24. 2 times 24. I hope you can follow all this thing. Final answer is 24, this 24 right here, times 2, which is 48. The final answer is 48. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Again, you're going to do it yourself first. 0 0.027 0 0.027 divided by divided by 0 0.36 I'll give you five seconds to pause and unpause the video okay here we go 0 0.0, 0 27 is same as 27 over 1000, 1000 because it has three decimal places, 1, 2, 3, so we need to multiply top and bottom by 1000 to make it into 27, divided by, same thing, oh actually this is only two decimal places, so 0.36 if you divide top and bottom by 100, or rather if you multiply top and bottom by 100, 0.36 times 100 is going to be 36, we end up with 36 over 100, Leave it like that, don't mess with it. So it's 36 over 100. And now we take our first fraction. We take our first fraction, which is 27 over 1000. And we multiply it, we multiply it by the reciprocal of the second fraction. 36 over 100 is going to become 100 over 36. 100 over 36. Same process, of course, nothing changes. We see a thousand at the bottom, we see a hundred on the top. Let's divide top and bottom by 100. Let's divide top and bottom by 100. If we divide top by 100, 100 divided by 100 is just one. We don't have to write one if you don't want to. You could write one, or if you don't want to write one, it doesn't really matter. If you're lazy, you don't have to write it, it's there. And thousand divided by 100, you're gonna just knock out two zeros. I see 27 on the top, I see 36 at the bottom. And we know both of those are divisible by 9. 9 3's are 27 and 4 9 9 3's are 27. In other words, 3 9's are 27 and 4 9's are 36. You have to know your tables. 
3 nines are 27, so let's divide by 9, we get 3. Let's divide 36 by 9, we get a 4. Anything else? I think that's about it. So we end up 3 on the top, 3, 3 times 1 from here. 3 times 1 is just 3. And the bottom we end up with 10 times 4. 10 times 4, we end up with 3 over 40. 3 over 40. We're not, that, we're not quite done here because since we're talking about multiplying and dividing by decimal, the answer choice in the exam, in the multiple choice exam, the answer choice is not going to be presented most likely as 3 40th. It's going to be presented as a decimal. So we have to do one more step to convert 3 40th into a decimal. Let's do that here. Now do you know how to convert 3 40th into a decimal very quickly? This is something that we've already done. If you watched previous videos somewhere, I don't know where, a few days ago, three, four, five days ago, we learned this thing, how to convert a fraction into decimal. Look for the video with the top, with the heading of fractions into decimals. When you want to convert a fraction, a, gi a given fraction, any fraction at all, if you want to convert it into decimal, into, into its equivalent decimal, your job is to convert the bottom part into 100 as quickly as possible, as smoothly as possible. Ask yourself, what number can I multiply 40 by to convert into 100? It turns out that 40 times 2 and a half, 40 times 2 and a half would be exactly 100. Why? Because 40 times 2, 40 times 2 is 80, plus 40 times half, 40 times half, 40 times half. How much do you have if you have 40 halves? Well, we know two halves make one. If you have 40 halves, 40 halves is the same as saying, 40 halves is the same as saying half of 40. Half of 40 is 20. So we end up with 80 plus 20. In other words, 40 times 2 and a half is 80 plus 20. 40 times 2 and a half is 80 plus 20, which is 100. So let's multiply top and bottom by 2 and a half. Let's multiply top and bottom by 2 and a half. And if we do that, what we end up here, I left no room for myself at all to continue. Let's continue here. Three times three times two and a half. How much is three times two and a half? Three times two and a half. How much is it? Well, how, do, how do I know? Let's find out. Three times two is six plus three times half is three halves. Three halves, of course, can be written as three halves can be written as two halves plus a half. And two halves is just one, so it's six plus one plus half, which is same as seven and a half which is seven, seven and a half. So we end up with seven and a half over 100, which is same as seven and a half percent. If you want to write that as a percent, or if you want to write that as a decimal, seven and a half is 7.5 over 100. 7.5 over 100. And therefore, the final answer is going to be, you have to move, the two, move it two decimal places. You take 7.5 and move the decimal place two places. One, two, decimal ends up here and we end up with a zero. The final answer is 0 0.075. 0 0.075. Boy, that was a mouthful. I'm going to stop right here, okay? Why not?